comes our herd. Look at that wild mare leading. She's no wild mare. She's trained to bring them back. Trained her? What do you mean? Just what I say. We drive the horses across the border, and when we put her back in with them, she brings them home. Which ones do we pick up? There'll be some tamed ones in with the herd, marked with an X. All right, let's go. care of this, we'll be using it again. Head them out to the north range and spread some feet around. They'll stay there until we need them. me a drink. I'll be back in a minute. Everything go all right? Look. How'd the Bell Mare work out? Better than ever. She brought that band across the border like she had firecrackers on her tail. Where's the herd now? Up on the North Range. We can pick them up again any time we want. Did you ever see such beauties? We're really getting organized. Yeah, I guess those will make a lot of ladies happy. Well, they won't all be ladies, but they'll be happy. <laughs> Just keep an eye on those horses and you'll always have plenty of egg money. If that gang on the other end does this part, we'll do ours. This whole business can go on forever. I said I fixed them, too. Fine start we're getting with the owner of the Circle B. I don't think she'll appreciate it. Well, anybody that lived way out in this forsaken country wouldn't care much what you did. She's probably an old, wheezened up old battle axe anyway. <laughs> you better stick this back up. Fix these brakes. When you get finished, come on down to the ranch. It's right at the bottom of the hill. OK, I'll get these brakes fixed. Or try. Let's see now, to tighten the brakes, the nut goes to the right. No, to the left. Just hang your heart next to a star. La -da -da -doo -da. You'll always find when things are going wrong. There's always time for a song. What does it matter, work or play? La -da -da -doo -da. It makes no difference, night or day. La -da -da -doo -da. Just keep a humming as you go along. Love will come your way 
If you keep going with a smile, la da da dee da You'll make your living worth your while, la da da dee da You'll always find that things are never wrong There's always time for a song You'll always find that things are never wrong that come in here worth all this trouble? Well, I don't know, but if they have any luck with those horses, that money sure will be. Oh, boy, I sure hope they're handsome. If they're anything like the cowboys that used to hang around here five years ago, they'll all be bow-legged, need a shave, and wear big black hats. That could be them. They got pack horses. Oh, boy, I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to make myself glamour. Maybe one of them hasn't bald egg and big beer and things like that. Hello? Get out of the way, Roy. They're gone again. Hey, are you Stormy Billings? That's right, just Stormy. Well, I'm Roy Rogers, just Roy. These are the fellows I wrote to you about, Stormy. Hi, fellas. Hi, Miss Billings. Hi. And this is Sparrow Biffle. Say, what happened to your friend? Oh, that's Peppy. You see, we weren't expecting you till tomorrow, and she's kind of bashful. I hope we didn't scare her. Oh, don't you worry about that. Hey, Roy, the most amazing thing happened about them breaks. That nut doesn't go to the left, it goes to the right. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, don't you think your horse might be kind of tired holding both of us? Yeah. Oh, here, let me help you down. This is it, boys. This is fine. Isn't it, Sparrow? Boy, it sure is. You know, you're lucky. That wild herd's been running on our side of the border, and I understand it's the first time in months. Well, we want to get after him the first thing in the morning. You know, we saw some tracks on the way in. You did? Mm -hmm. Good. I'll be up bright and early because I want to take you out to the North Range. This time of year, that's about the only place they can find any feed. I was raised around here, and I know just about every foot of this ground. Well, that's awfully nice of you. Nice. The sooner you get those horses, the sooner you get paid. The sooner you get paid, the sooner I get paid. <laughs> Aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? Oh, of course, Peppy. Mr. Rogers, this is Miss Valdez. Charmed. Couple on the house. Jeff, take a look at this. The old Circle B Ranch, which has been closed down since the death of Frank Billings, is going to be reopened by his daughter, who recently returned from the East. That's right. She was in town yesterday with a girlfriend of hers, a South American. They were buying supplies. They're going to clean up the ranch and start operating again. Roy Rogers, the well-known horse trainer, has leased the Circle B Ranch from the Billings girl. That must be the reason she's reopening the ranch. It has been reported that Rogers has recently signed a contract with one of the biggest cattle corporations to supply them with roping horses, which he expects to procure from a wild herd ranging at present along the border. Come on. I feel glad that I was born as I greet the crimson dawn. Silvery dew. At night I'll find him by my side. He'll always 
see me through Then we'll both be on our way As we greet another day Riding my golden stallion See, Roy, I told you, just look at those tracks Look, Roy, there's a shoe print. What's a wild horse doing with shoes on? Shoe print, all right, but only one, and on the front foot. Why would anyone shoe a horse that way? They wouldn't. My guess is it's a tame horse going wild. He's lost all but one of his shoes. Let's go. Here they are. I told you the leader was a mayor. Boy, look at him run. On up to the left, there's a box canyon. Maybe you can turn him into it. This is a break for us. Money in the bank. Come on. that opening. Take it easy, though. They're pretty spooky. Army, stay back. They might stampede. I don't think they will if you can keep the mayor from breaking out. I'm going to send Trigger in with the herd. Maybe he can quiet him down and help us hold him. Say, he's going to get along all right with that little filly. Yeah, he sure is. Bellmare. That's going to make it tough. Yeah, but a couple of shots to spook him up, and I don't think they'll be able to hold him.
you better have a good answer. I just saved you a lot of trouble. You ought to thank me, Rogers. You know, sometimes ranchers' horses get mixed in that herd. If you go catching them, you might find yourself right in the middle of a horse rustling charge. You can't call it rustling if there isn't any brand on the horses and they're on free range. Now, Miss Billings, don't you know that's the wrong attitude? You haven't been around here for four or five years. Things have changed. I'm only trying to help keep you out of trouble, Rogers. I think the best thing you can do is sort of pull up stakes and mosey on. These ranches around here have short tempers. They might not like the idea of a stranger moving in. The last time I saw you, mister, you were doing 90 days for running somebody else's horses in New Mexico. Stormy, get back out of the way. There's no use in all of us getting shot up. This is just between you and me. Yeah. Sparrow! Well, now we're even. All right, fellas, put them away. Let's get out of here. And don't forget, any time you start messing around with those wild horses, there's going to be a reception committee waiting for you. And next time, it won't be fists. I hope you're on that reception committee. I will be. But there better not be a next time. Bring the saddle, Sparrow. You know, I don't think this guy's gonna scare so easy. Well, anyway, he didn't get the bell mare. Lost his own Palomino, too. We're going to have a square head dance tonight for Roy. You mean square dance? A square dance. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peppy, but I don't think Roy and the rest of us feel much like a party. Oh, but I already invited everybody. What's the matter, Stormy? Something wrong? Had a little trouble out on the North Range today. Had a little bad luck, Peppy. We lost the wild herd and Trigger went with them. Trigger? I'm sorry. I was only trying to make Roy feel at home. Well, I guess we'd better take the decoration down. I'm sorry, Peppy. It was a nice try, anyway. Hello, Stormy. Well, hello. Looks like you're going to have a party. Roy, this is Mr. Middleton. Mr. Rogers. How you doing? Miss Farrow Biffle. Hello. And Miss Valdez. Well, how do Mr. you Middleton do? Mr. Middleton was a good friend of my father's. I read in the papers about your plans for the Circle B. You know, Stormy here has always been like a younger sister, even though I haven't seen her for a long time. That's why I came up to see you today. I hear you had a little trouble, a fight out on the range. That's right. You recognize anybody in the other outfit? Sparrow did. He recognized one of the men as a jailbird he'd seen in New Mexico. That's what started the fight. Well, you know how some people are, Rogers. They sort of resent a stranger moving in all of a sudden and taking over. I don't take over anything but wild horses. And that's nobody's business but my own. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. 
But you know you've got to be practical about these things. Hey, Roy, come on out. Trigger's come back. What? Wait a minute. He's brought a friend with him. It's the mare that leads the wild horses. Yeah, and it looks like love at first sight. Everybody stay right here. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, great. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> Trigger thinks she's beautiful, too. Hey, now the herd hasn't got a leader. We ought to be able to get the rest of them easy. <laughs> this is sure a lucky break. Now we can have a party tonight, no? Yeah, how well, about it, Roy? I think it's Roy? wonderful. Why not? Good. Well, well, well huh? I'll see yeah. you tonight. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Trigger in the bell, Mayor. Be right back. All right, I'll fix you a plate. Get that horse away from him. Holy mackerel. That's the same guy that tried to run us out of the country today. It sure is. How'd it happen? Well, it's pretty obvious to me. I'm going to get the sheriff. How did it happen? I don't know. But the bell mare's gone. I had the deputy bring you to town, Roy, because Jeff Middleton's filed a complaint against either you or Trigger. He claims somebody's got to pay for the death of Ed Hart, and I believe he's right. But we went through all that last night, Sheriff. Yes, I know. You claimed it was the wild bell mare. When Hart was discovered, there was no bell mare around. When we got to the corral, there was just you, Trigger, and the body. The blow on the head was obviously made by some hard object, like Trigger's hoof. So that's the way it is, Roy. If you didn't do it, it must have been Trigger. But it's all just circumstantial evidence. In this case, circumstantial evidence is enough. I'm afraid he's right. You admit it, he ran with a wild herd. You know the law of the range. A killer horse is a killer horse and must be destroyed. I hereby order that Trigger be destroyed for the death of Ed Hart. All right, Max, see that it's carried out. Take your hands off of him. No, no, no. Look here, Roy. I intend to see the law carried out. All right, take him away.
Hold it, Sheriff. I have a confession to make. What do you mean, Roy? I killed Ed Hart. I did it in self-defense. Yesterday afternoon, we had a fight, and he threatened me. And I have witnesses to prove it. Stormy, you heard him threaten me, didn't you? Yes, Roy. But don't you realize that... Why would you want to kill him? I didn't want to. It was an accident. Are you sure you're not doing this to protect Trigger? Last night, I caught Ed Hart trying to steal the Del Mar. We fought again. His head hit against one of the corral posts, and he died. Are you ready to sign a confession to that effect? Yes, Sheriff. I'll sign it. Well, in that case, Judge Harrison will perhaps set your trial for tomorrow. In the meantime, I'll have to hold you. Is there anything I can do for you, Roy? Sure is, Stormy. <laughs> Look after Trigger. I'm sorry, Roy. We'll have to hold Trigger, too. Take him to the barn. See that he's well taken care of. trial's all over. What was the verdict? Judge Harrison found him guilty of manslaughter. Sentenced him to five to ten years plus five thousand dollars fine. Five grand, huh? Five years. That means he'll probably work on the road gang and be out in three in good behavior. That'll give us plenty of time. Hey, you know the boys haven't been able to find that Belle Mare yet. We can't run the herd through without her. Yeah, they've searched every canyon. Can't seem to locate her. It's funny how that horse disappeared. Say, uh, speaking of horses, Rogers can't pay his fine, so the sheriff is going to auction off that Palomino of his. Trigger, huh? Yeah. When? Today, just a little while. I've got an idea. Come on. I'll give you all the money you need. I want you to get over the auction and buy that horse. And take him out to Hart's barn. What do you want with Trigger? Well, if we can't find the bell mare, we've got to train another horse to lead the herd. Trigger's the fastest and smartest horse in the country. We'll starve him, rough him up a bit. In a couple of months, he'll be running that herd of wild horses back and forth across the border better than she did. How high do you want me to go in the bidding? Use your own judgment. I want that horse. He's right over there. I think I can trust you folks. I've got a good arm start the auction. Thanks, Sheriff. We'll just be a few minutes. Come on, Sparrow. Hello, Roy. Hi, Stormy. Listen, we raised all the cash we could, and we have $3,000. Swell. That won't pay my fine, but I don't think anybody will bid that much for Trigger. Yeah, at least Trigger will be safe. And Roy, we looked at those corrals like he told us. Yes, we did, Roy. And Trigger obviously opened his corral gate, but the corral that Mara was in was opened by somebody who was trying to lead her away. We can prove this, Roy. Why don't you let me have your trial reopened? It wouldn't do any good. We'd be right back where we started. They wouldn't believe the mayor did it anyway, and it'd come back on Trigger. Before we could get enough evidence to clear him, they'd have him destroyed. This way, at least, it'll give us enough time to look for clues that'll clear both of us. Hey, we better get to that auction. After all this trouble, Trigger's caused us. We don't want to lose him. That's right. See you later, Roy. Bye. Bye. for the sale of this beautiful Palomino horse. How much am I bid? $1,000. $1,000 bid for this beautiful stallion. Do I hear $1,250? One $2,000. $2,000. $2,100. $2,100 bid for Trigger. Do I hear $2,500? $3,000. $3,000 bid for Trigger by this gentleman here. Are there any more bids, gentlemen, for this beautiful stallion? Going for 3,000 once. Going for 3,000 twice. 
$3,127.54. Going, going, gone to this gentleman here. send you to road camp this afternoon and the sheriff said we could come down and say goodbye. I'm sure glad you did. I just want to say I'm awfully sorry for what's happened. Well, there's no use worrying about that now. But if you happen to hear anything, be sure and let me know. Tell the sagers goodbye for me, will you? The boys are going to get a job close by to watch after things, so don't worry. We'll write you every week, Roy. Stormy, the sheriff said two minutes. Making out with Trigger. Okay, now we had a lot of trouble at first. Guess he couldn't figure out what happened to Rogers. Go get him, boys. Bring him out and show the boss what he can do. We got him trained now, so he'll bring those horses back from anywhere. Good. I just got another letter from our associates. They're all set to send another shipment through, and they want to know when we'll be ready. Oh, oh here he comes now. There's the bell mare. Where'd you pick her up? She's been hanging around here a couple of weeks. She was easy to catch. Hey, that's why she left the herd and we couldn't find her. Yeah, she's gonna have a colt. There isn't a horse in the world that could catch him. I wonder what became of that mare. I don't know. She must have cut off back there in the rocks. Well, she isn't important to us anymore, as long as Trigger rejoins the herd. Now, don't worry about him. Mare will have her colt, and Trigger will bring them all back. He knows that herd needs him.
most exciting news for you. While I was writing this letter, I heard a horse whinny. I rushed out of the house and Trigger had come back to the ranch. Something small and golden was following him. When I ran out to try to coax him into the yard, Trigger took off for the hills, leaving behind the most beautiful little Palomina colt you've ever seen. While I was looking the colt over, Trigger was watching me from a hill. He must have been satisfied that his son was in good hands and was going to get the best of care because he tossed his head and went back to join the wild herd. Roy, he's the spitting image of his father if ever a colt was. I'll write again soon. Love, Stormy. Dear Roy, one whole year has passed since Trigger left his son here to stay with us. And today he's celebrating his first birthday. Roy, he's grown like a weed, and I wish you were here to see him. He and Peppy have developed a beautiful friendship. And now he doesn't even mind that blue ribbon that she insists he wear. At first he thought it was too sissified for a son of Trigger's. Just now he pulled an old trick of Trigger's. And we decided there was only one thing we should call him. I'm sure you'll approve when you know what his name is. Trigger Jr. As for Trigger himself, Sparrow has seen him several times in the last year, running with the herd. He's gone back to the wild, Roy. No one can get near him. The herd spends most of its time below the border, but occasionally they come back on this side. There's only one boss in the herd. Naturally, it's Trigger. passes quick. Just think, another whole year has passed since Peppy tied that ribbon on Trigger Jr. Gosh, how he's grown in that one year, Roy. He's a full-grown horse now and knows almost as many tricks as his old man. Stormy taught him to march. Peppy taught him to rumba. And he taught himself to bow. Boy, oh boy, he's some horse, Roy, and I know you'll approve of it. Well, this is the last letter we'll be writing to you because we're all looking forward to seeing you in a few days when you get back here to await your parole in Oral City. Everyone sends their regards. Sparrow. Glad to have you back, Roy. It's been a long time. I haven't had a decent game of checkers since you left. Glad to be back, Sheriff. You know, to this day, I can't figure out why Ben bought Trigger for all that money, and when the horse got away, he didn't even try to catch him. That's only one of the things around here that doesn't make sense. From what Stormy and the boys can find out, Ben never had more than $5 at one time in his life. Does he still hang around Middleton's hotel? As far as I know. Say, maybe Middleton put up the money. That's why, he's in the hotel business. Your move. Yeah, I know, Roy, but where to? This is your evening news roundup of bulletins from the Southwest. Last night, federal law enforcement officers made a complete search of every car on the border road near Aura City in a series of unexpected roadblocks. It is rumored they were checking on smugglers. I can't concentrate with that thing going on. What are the federal men doing around here? Mostly driving me crazy. They claim for the last couple of months there's been a leak at the border. 
They figure it's somewhere in this section. We've watched every road and pass for 24 hours a day and can't find a thing. What kind of a leak? Diamonds. They claim they're flooding the north with smuggled diamonds. Say, that's a pretty smart play, Roy. Sheriff, I've got an idea for a smarter one. Well, let me have it. I'm glad to say, Middleton, your credit with us is excellent. That ought to take care of all your expenses for the next shipment. We'll pay you the rest when we get the stones. Everything's well organized. The herd of wild horses is below the border. <laughs> After going back and forth so many times in the last couple of years, don't worry. They're ready and waiting. So are the diamonds. It's all right. It's just one of my boys. Well, thanks very much for your order, Mr. Middleton. Anytime you need any more hotel supplies, just let me know. I put a door on this office for privacy. Can't you see I was transacting important business? Rogers is out of jail. It's impossible. He's still got two months. They were playing checkers. He slugged the sheriff and took off. That means he'd be looking for that horse of his. Right now, we've got another shipment ready to come north. We better make up our own posse and give the sheriff a hand. Oh, good evening, Sheriff. It's a bad evening. Did you hear Rogers slugging and got away? Yeah, we sure did. I want to form a posse and pick him up before he gets away from this part of the country. Well, I think we could find enough law-abiding volunteers right here in the bar. You men heard what the Sheriff said. A lot of you were friends of Ed Hart. It's your chance to square things. Oh, sure. I'll even furnish the guns. Pass them out, Spud. Any idea which way Rogers headed? Chances are he picked up those friends of his at the Circle B and headed for the border. All right. Hi, fella. Say, you must be Trigger Jr. You know, your daddy was my best friend. He never told me about you, though. Guess he didn't have a chance. How about a kiss? <laughs> I hope the folks in there are as friendly toward me as you are. I'm gonna need a lot of help. music. Dreaming alone in the moonlight when night falls on the prairie. Coyotes from afar see a fallen star. Night on the prairie. Campfire glow, dreaming of you. Just Trigger and me, riding all day, riding the trail to nowhere. Ever alone, never a home, and when. Hey! 
I'd like to thank all of you for standing by me. And Stormy, he did a swell job raising this little fella. He's a dandy. Only one better. All right, get your hands up. Don't make a move, Rogers, because you're covered. You're coming back with me, and this time it's going to be for 10 years. Stormy, I'm glad your father isn't alive today. Why, he'd be ashamed to see his daughter aiding a fugitive and a murderer. That's my business. If it happens again, it'll be my business. I'm surprised you thought you could get away with this. I'll get that horse saddled up. We're heading back for jail. I'm sorry, Stormy, but you saw what happened. It's a plain case of self-defense. We all saw him draw on you. How is he? We'll get a buckboard and take him back to town. Well, that just about does it, Jeff. I want to thank you again for getting me this posse and taking care of this criminal. As a pleasure, Sheriff. I only did what any law-abiding citizen would have done. Well, I won't need you with a posse any longer. You can all go back to town. And thanks. Have they gone yet? Yes, Roy. Boy, you and the boys follow them. Keep a lookout and warn us if they start to come back. All right. Doing all right, Roy? I think I'll live. How about a cup of coffee, Sherry? Fine. Gee, Roy, you made that fall so real, I was afraid I forgot to put in the blanks. I'm sure glad you didn't forget. I still think I ought to have my head examined. If this little scheme of yours doesn't work out, I'm going to look awful silly. Well, you said this morning you didn't know why Middleton spent so much money for Trigger, then turned him loose. This is why. That herd of wild horses can run on either side of the border without causing any excitement. Sometimes they're south and sometimes they're north. But right now they're south. That's right, Sheriff. We checked on them and they were headed that way a week ago. Have you made arrangements with the Mexican authorities? Mm-hmm. They'll do their part before the herd leaves. I've told them everything we know. All right, we get the horses. Where are the diamonds and saddlebags? <laughs> I'm not sure, but they're on them someplace. You know, Roy, I've got a little talk in jail this morning. I'm really convinced that the brains of this organization is right on this side of the border. I thought you'd see it that way. That's where Stormy comes in, if it's a deal. I mean, it's so deep now, it's a deal. Set them up, Spud. The drinks are on the house. Okay. Take the men down on the border before morning. You can pick up the herd at Los Alamos Gap. What time do you figure the horses will be coming through? Well, they'll be turning them loose at dawn. Ought to take him a couple of hours to get there. Now, this is a big shipment, so be careful. Okay, Jeff. I'll get the boys going as soon as they've had a couple of shots. Come on, Spud. I'm thirsty. After last night's performance, I shouldn't think you'd have anything to say. But this is very important. It's about Roy. Is there some place we could talk in private? Rogers, huh? Come on in my office. Now, what's this all about? I've been thinking over what you said last night. You were right. My father would be ashamed of me for associating with criminals. So I've come to apologize and confess. Confess? Confess what? Everything that happened last night was just an act to make you think Roy was shot so he could escape. But the sheriff shot him. I know he did. I don't understand it myself. 
They were only blanks. After you left, Roy got up and had a talk with the sheriff. What about? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't hear them. I'm glad you told me this. This time, we'll do the shooting. Thanks very much for coming by, Stormy. I'll see you later. All right, Mr. Middleton. Hello, operator. Give me long distance and hurry. The herd's already gone. <laughs> That's great. You want to see me, Jeff? Yeah, just a minute. Yeah? Anything wrong? Everything. Don't leave that phone. I may need you. Trouble? Yeah, plenty. Rogers and that sheriff double-crossed us. I've got to get to Ben before the herd comes How through. did you find out about it? From Stormy. Ah, uh, how do you know she was telling the truth? Because the way the sheriff captured Rogers was too easy. It was all a plant. What about the shipment? I've just got time to pick Ben up. He should have the diamonds by then. I'll keep heading south. Stick around that phone in case anything comes up. I'll meet you down there later. marked with an X. Let's go. off in diamonds, and then we got to split up and clear out of here. All right, great. Should I give a signal? In just a minute. It's sand. Yeah. We've been double-crossed. Yeah, somebody's been double-crossed, but I'm not sure who. All of you, put your hands up. Get down, Stormy. Tell the boys close in. Find Trigger. He just led the wild herd through here. He can't be very far. Roy, Trigger's been running wild. Please be careful. Don't worry, Stormy. I will. Let's go, Junior.
figure. <laughs> Someday you'll be as good a horse as he is. <laughs> 